What's up everybody, Jason Moss here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to move a 7,000 person email list that's in Git Response over to Go High Level, okay? So Git Response is costing me about 75 bucks a month. I already pay for Go High Level. I can send emails in Go High Level. So I'm gonna move the whole thing over to Go High Level so I can cancel my Git Response account and save myself 75 bucks a month. So let's hop in here real quick. Um, as you can see, I have a few more lists to go. Well, actually, I already did these that you see, this 41 contact list, the 1322, the 117, and then this last one, the 7300 one, is what I'm about to do, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the best way to do this that I know how is you kind of treat these lists, okay, as a location and go high level so if you have a, a GHL account you know what I'm talking about with the locations um, and that would be the case if they were all completely different type of list which these are these are for uh, three different businesses so they are completely different things now if if uh, if your list and get response are just for different things but they're for the same business then I would recommend using tags and put them all, put all of these uh, lists in the same location in GHL, just tag them differently. But these are for different businesses. So what I'm gonna do is head over to Go High Level. I'm gonna make a new account. Okay, well, a new location. So we're gonna add, add account here. I'm gonna do a blank snapshot because I don't want anything loaded here. And let me just, uh, put in some information real quick I'll add the account manually and you can really just use your information for this unless you have a specific situation uh, like business name don't really overthink it just do whatever is necessary for the list that you're moving over okay and after you're done creating your location or a new account um, you're gonna wanna head over to the contacts uh, slash smart list page and that's where we're gonna load everything up in here. Um, while I was creating that account, I actually remembered I already had made that account, so I hopped in here. Um, I already have a few leads in here. As you can see, there's 1,700 uh, leads in here at the moment. So now what we have to do is let's go back over to Get Response real quick, and we're gonna export this list. So all you do is you click on the list that you want. It's going to populate everything here, and then over on the right-hand side, these three dots, you're gonna have the export option. So we're gonna export, put in a name, and then you're gonna export in CSV. Okay, export new file, all right, and it's gonna do its thing real quick. And as you can see, it pops up in there. All right, and once it is done, then you uh, hover over these three dots again, hit download, and it downloads the CSV to your computer. Now that that is done, we can head back over to GHL, okay? Once we're in GHL, it's very, very simple. They make this easy, okay? All you do is come over here, hover over this, import contacts, all right? And as you can see, it says file must be a CSV. So that's perfect, that's exactly what we downloaded. Um, all we do is go and find the file, upload it, all right, and now it is looking at the file at the different fields that Git Response gave us, okay? Now you might wanna open the CSV and make sure you know whatever fields that you have are mapping up correctly on this side. Okay, so I mapped all my fields. As you can see, I got name, email, uh, the sign-up date. I'm going to throw in the notes of the contact that it's going to create. IP, I went ahead and made that custom field, so IP address, um, and then country, city, state, postal code, uh, time zone, moving all that data over. So let's scroll to the bottom, and we hit continue. All right, and then it shows you a preview of how things are going to be moved over. Uh, which is pretty cool, so you, you make sure that you're doing it correctly. Now, some of these have more data than others, um, so if we hit another sample, you can see that this is all being moved over uh, correctly in which fields that it's being moved to, all right? So everything looks good to me, so we're going to confirm these mappings and hit continue. 
All right, and then this is the duplicate strategy. So if an existing contact is in the spreadsheet, what do we want it to do? And you have different options here. This is the recommended option. It's the one that I always do. Um, update them with the data in the document, but only for fields that are empty. Right, so if you already have fields that are in there, it's not gonna overwrite them. Um, it's only gonna fill out fields that are empty. Kind of just update those other contacts that you might already have. So we'll hit continue, all right? And now you have the option of adding a tag to all of these that you're moving in here. So the tag, I'm gonna do gr import, which is get response import. So I know if I see these people um, in here, I know that this was imported uh, by me, all right? Th this was that list, all right? So that is it, and now we just hit done. And I'm not sure how long this will take since it's like 7,300 emails. Um, and you can see it's still uploading at the moment. And there it begins going. And it does it rather quickly, 50, 100, 150, 200. Um, I'll pause the video and then we'll be back here in a second. All right, and the list is done importing. That took about, about eight or nine minutes or so. Um, and as you can see, now I have a total of 8,945 records. Um, so we only had about, about two, 250 duplicates, um, which is awesome. So my entire list now is over here in Go High Level. I can 100% cancel my Get Response account now. So like I said before, that saves me 75 bucks a month, uh, which is awesome. So if you are wondering, um, there is no limit with Go High Level, how many uh, contacts or leads that you can put in here? Um, I know of a couple guys that literally have over a million contacts in their account. Um, so the, the the sky's the limit with it. Um, they don't limit you with a number of contacts. Um, if you had a million contacts and get response, I mean, it would cost you it would cost you an arm and a leg. So um, everything's good to go at this point. Now I can go ahead and schedule these for an autoresponder or a campaign or the new uh, workflow builder that they just came out with. Um, you know, just send them all a mass email if I want. So everything's good to go. If you guys have questions, let me know in the comments below. If you guys are looking for a solution like this, you want your own high level account, um, there is a link in the description below as well. If you do go ahead and get it signed up using that link, please let me know uh, because I'll send you my bonuses um, that I have for you. So um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.